Hi, I'm Chetna Makan here on the Waitrose channel cooking a lovely festive recipe for you. At Diwali, I tend to spend a lot of time in the kitchen preparing some of my family's favorite dishes and usually for us, it's vegetarian food. I will be cooking dum paneer. A paneer is something we all enjoy very much and this is a lovely creamy curry with chunks of paneer which I will cook on dum which is sealed and cooked slowly and the end result is absolutely delicious. I'm going to start by prepping the onions, garlic and ginger. So I've got here two onions and I'm just going to roughly chop these. If you have got red onions instead of white, then definitely use those. When I'm chopping the onions, my one eye closes automatically. <laughs> Every Diwali, I get the fairy lights out, the candles, the diyas are in full swing. We do a lovely floor uh, rangoli. And now for some garlic. And you want to use three to four garlic cloves. Paneer is something that comes on our Diwali table every single year in one form or the other. And this one is lovely because it's not too hot, uh, it's not sweet, it's just got this lovely balance of spices which makes it special. And then a little chunk of ginger. After a couple of quiet Diwalis we've had, I'm really looking forward to this Diwali because I'm hoping that we can have a big gathering of friends over lots of delicious food. Just a rough chop on the garlic and ginger. Now that I have got everything prepared, I am going to go and start cooking. It's a nice hot pan to start with and I'm going to add some rapeseed oil. You can of course use sunflower oil or vegetable oil if that's what you have and prefer. And then our chopped up onions go in. I'm just going to cook this for a couple of minutes and as soon as they start to soften up, I'm going to add some almonds. And if you want the full recipe, you can find the link in the description. So as soon as they start to soften, in goes the almonds. Just some blanched almonds. The key is to get a lovely, deep, rich, golden color. So don't rush this. Be patient and let this cook for a good 8 to 10 minutes. And this is what I mean by rich, deep golden color. And now is the time we add the ginger and garlic to this. And cook for a minute or two, just so they are not raw. When you smell this lovely caramelized onion and garlic and ginger, you know what's going to happen next. It's going to be really, really good. Next, we add in a tin of chopped tomatoes. And give it a good mix. And you'll see that the pan is now clean. It's taken up all the lovely flavor from the pan. So now I will turn the heat off and give it a quick blitz so that we have a smooth paste. Back to the pan, I'm just going to get the heat back on. I'm gonna add some oil and then go in our whole spices. That's a massive one. So I'm just gonna add half of the stick, bay leaf, cumin, and cardamom and then just let it sizzle in the oil for a few seconds don't burn it just a few seconds is enough so it, they release their lovely flavors into the oil and then we add our puree and just to get this out i'm going to add a splash of water into this so that i don't waste anything a good mix look at that beautiful so in goes a teaspoon of chili powder, ground coriander and some salt. A good mix and you can use chili to taste. If you want it spicier, add a bit more. Then I'm going to cover and cook this for 8 to 10 minutes on low heat. While the tomato base is getting ready, I am going to prepare the dough which then we will use to seal the pan to give it some dum. For that, I have got some wholemeal flour and all I'm going to do is add some water. We don't want any flavoring. We won't be eating this, so just make a nice soft dough. Dum is a technique where you seal the pan with some dough and then the steam inside adds that extra layer of flavor. This is ready. All I'm going to do is cover and then 
come back to this when I need to seal the pot. Now that the 10 minutes are done, I'm going to first turn the heat off and then, ooh. Now I'm going to add a couple of spices, just some garam masala, a little bit of sugar to add a little bit of balance. If you don't want to use sugar, you can add a drop of honey. And this is the reason we've turned the heat off. If the pan is still very hot and you add the yogurt, the yogurt might split to prevent that we turn the heat off and then just give it a good mix. Look at that. And once you have mixed it, I'm going to add the paneer. So I've got these little blocks here and I'm just going to chop them up into pieces. Paneer is an Indian cheese and it works really well in Indian food because it's got no flavor of its own. So they act like little sponges and then just take up the flavor of the curry and is really such a lovely ingredient. Now these paneer pieces go into the curry. Give this a good mix and now we turn the heat back on. I'm going to keep this still on low heat. Now I'm going to get the lid ready for sealing. So I have got the dough here and I have got the lid here and I just need to roll this. And once you've got this rolled up, we just put this on the lid and then roll for the other side. And that's it. So the dough is on the lid and now we add some of the ghee, just the smell of ghee reminds me of my parents' house because my mum makes ghee at home. The smell was everywhere. And ghee is just clarified butter, really. And now I'm going to place some red chilies on top. If for some reason you can't find the whole red chilies, you can use some chili flakes on it. And then we seal this. And now because we've added this dough, there is no way of any steam coming out of this. And then we cook this on low heat for 10 to 15 minutes. And here it is, it has had its cooking time and then I let it rest for 10 minutes. Oh, this is the exciting bit. Just gonna give it a little ease the dough slightly. Can you see, as soon as I open, the steam is coming out. Oh, look at that. That is wonderful. This is looking beautiful and I won't even transfer it to another bowl. I'm going to serve it as it is in this bowl and you can serve it with rice, you can serve it with naan. I really do hope that you try this recipe. This is my dum paneer. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do and I wish you all a very happy Diwali.